Good morning. It is our last day together. We will be making it back to my ambulance at some point today, and then no more coexisting and Sarah's pro master with her. No more arguments, no more good times, but we'll still be hanging out. We still both have our own rigs and are both in Southern California, so it's not like we're not gonna see each other anymore, unless she just hates me that much after this and blocks me on all social medias and you never know. Check out the spot. We didn't really know what it looked like last night when we came in. It is freaking gorgeous. If you didn't see yesterday's video, we traveled all through Oregon near some waterfalls, hot spring, drove a long ways down here towards, I don't really know exactly where we are. We're a little bit south of Reno, north of Mammoth, somewhere in the mountains, high elevation, it's cold. And we're just getting the day started. Not really sure what we have planned today other than making it to my ambulance. So I guess we will see. Sarah is looking fantastic as usual. I have nothing bad to say about that woman. No, it's been pretty good. It's been it's been a good time. You know, I, I need to shave. I look like a freaking disgusting. I can't grow facial hair. My, I can't just can't grow a beard. It won't happen. It grows in ugly. I need to shave this, and I'm gonna do it with Sarah's outside van mirrors. Come around the back side to the garage. Oh. Hey, thank you. The garage area where my stuff lives. Right, push that bag in there. Push that over there. This is all my wet clothes. Nope, it's in the bag, it's in the front, of course. It's in this one. Oh God, that noise is terrible. There we go. Are you two having some nice bro time? Yeah, we're being rudely interrupted by somebody. Who, Are you me? Toby? We're just bonding out here. Let's hit the road. We passed a gas station that I was like, oh, that gas station looks like garbage. Let's keep going. And then we saw a giant sign that said real milkshakes, organic espresso, but like, I don't like coffee. I don't do any of that stuff. But the, the milkshakes got me. She yelled milkshakes and then I flipped a U-turn and here we are. You flipped it hard. Dude. If they don't have freaking milkshakes at nine in the morning, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be mad. Oh, you know where my other boot went? Sarah has lost the most items that she has lost this whole trip just this morning. Everything she touches is gone in about- it was behind me. Everything she has touched today has disappeared, including this camera battery that I just found on the ground. <laughs> Are you gonna get a milkshake and a coffee? Oh, yeah. That's weird. Hello. I've lost Sarah. Oh. I have I a present for you. Where did you go? I have a present for you. This? Wait, yes, that, but. I see it. Boom. They sell Pockies here? <laughs> Why in the world would they sell Pockies here? I don't think you understand how like normal it is to have Pockies. This is not a normal thing. Have you guys ever had these? Yes, I guarantee you a lot of people are I bet that. you 90% of the people that are watching this have never had Pockies, unless I'm just crazy and I've been missing out my whole life. But I don't trust anything other than the chocolate anymore. Cookies and cream is absolute trash. <laughs> Cheers to the last day of surviving together. Oh my God, this is amazing. Not the best milkshake in America. I know where the best milkshake in America is. This one is fire. I think just cookies and cream recently has been really trash. A couple days ago, my cookies and cream pockies were like the worst things I've ever had. I don't like the consistency. It's just super liquidy. Why? This is perfect consistency. It's like not too liquidy, not too solid that you can't get it through the straw. I would say C plus. Ew, no way. I give this milkshake a solid <laughs> A A. I'm sure there's one a little bit better, but I'll give it an A. Five hours and 14 minutes to go. 304 miles. Counting the seconds. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna miss you, Brandon. I'm gonna miss having you in my van. He doesn't feel the same way. She's gonna miss me. Did you put the heater on? Yeah, it was cold as shit. You're drinking a milkshake. Yeah, <laughs> hence the coldness. We're literally in the snow out here. Drinking milkshakes. Shakes. <laughs> it's hot. It's so warm out here. I'm gonna take my shirt off. 
Maybe I'll crank that heat a little bit more for you guys. See what else she'll take off. <laughs> oh my God, you, you kept it in the heat. <laughs> this boy needs to figure something out about his circulation situation. It's not good. His hands and feet and knees are freezing all of the time. Like all the milkshake goes straight to my kneecaps. <laughs> wow. I win. I drink this much. I'm a champion. I don't ever order them because I do that. I crush them. Yeah, I'm natty and the stars do ruins. My heart will never be worlds apart. Make a little love. Ah. A little turn of love. Just did a couple hours of driving and I just wanted you guys to witness this. This is Sarah's very first time coming out the driver door of her van. What? I've never seen you come out this way. She always goes the other way. Toby, you coming? No, 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 no. You're coming up next. Oh, I thought, sorry. Sorry, Toby, I thought you were coming with us. At a rest stop, going to bathroom town. Parked next to our fellow Pro Masters. This van is a disaster because of the one carrying the camera at the moment. Even when I take all my stuff out of here, it's still gonna be a mess. Because you shift all of my stuff around. False information. Play with all my things. I don't touch any of your you things. You treat my things like they're yours. Like Sarah's yours. on one of our moods right now. We're just gonna have to fast forward till she's happy again. I'm happy right now. Back on the road we go. I just ran over a child. <laughs> it's the last fill up of the trip. <laughs> Well, we have finally made it back to the ambulance. Hopefully she's still here in one piece. After about a 20 hour total drive. And I remembered the code. When you get the code right first try. Wah, wah, wah. You just made my day. All right, let's see. Let's get in here. The car that I had to park next to, like with the spot they gave me, it had like the windows busted out of it and it looked like it was a complete junk car. And I'm like, well, that doesn't really make me feel good about staying here, but hopefully none of my windows are busted out. Oh, I see the red poking out. Oh, my dirt bike's still there. That's a oh, plus. No, I left the dirt bike on the back. Okay, all the windows look intact. Heck yeah, I think I won. She's alive. I was very concerned. I'll show you the car parked next to me because it's pretty bad. I think this calls for a... <laughs> oh, that was a horrible one. Let me do it again. No, that's 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 how good she is. That's her best one, actually. <laughs> no, damn. One more. <laughs> She's never really been able to do it. <laughs> can't do it anymore. One more. I can't. <laughs> Toby ran to the back as soon as that started. <laughs> do it. You show them how it's done. <laughs> that was oh, all right. There, I just had to copy you. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> See? I just need to follow you. I'm cutting all this out. <laughs> you realize I'm, this is going to take like a good half an hour to find all my things in here or more okay then we'll talk while we yeah. do that it's gonna okay. it's gonna be a minute <laughs> jesus look at this butte oh i've missed my own bed there's one of my things here's another one there's another thing another thing there's my bag my pants my dirty clothes i think these are not my socks i think that's all my stuff from the garage area Home. So excited to be back in here. All right, I'm going to slowly start moving everything back into the ambulance. This is my pile of things. The front seat has some stuff on it too. And I really think the first move I make might be to the laundromat. I have so much laundry to do. I have a full laundry bag back here that was dirty before I left. And now I have all this stuff. I should probably go get that taken care of before I do anything. Well, this is the car that they had me parked next to with a completely shouted out window so that didn't make me feel so good but at the same time there's no way anyone's gonna come take this thing it's covered in an inch of dust but that's a wrap on the road trip with sarah and tobias down there i think i'm gonna head straight to the laundromat you gonna do laundry too yeah all right we might honestly not be done yet we might just go get we might just go do our laundry and shuffle footage around and do that sort of thing do i end the video here
All right, well, thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate all the support from you guys. Thank you for watching the journey with Sarah. Thank you to Sarah for allowing me to live with her for seven days. But it is time to leave her behind. Well, kind of, because we might go do laundry together. But after that, it's time to leave her behind and go back to living in the ambulance. We're gonna head to the laundromat, but I think I'm gonna stop the video here and I will catch you guys for the next one. It might not be tomorrow. I might take a day or two break, try to catch up on some filming. I might see you guys in like two, three days, but I will keep you posted on here and I'll let you know. So peace. Thank you guys. Later. Adios. Spanish. Thank you.